I have a lot of things going on, but when it comes to Bear, he is always a happy, joyful thing. My kids love him. He loves my kids. I would say that he, he is part of the family. Been dog training in Houston for about 30 years. Jessica was a client of mine, and I helped her train her dog. And she has a brother that was stationed in Afghanistan. She called me one day several years after that. She kind of laid it out that she wanted to start a 501c3 not-for-profit. Paws for Heroes provides comfort and support to veterans by matching those veterans with shelter dogs. I said, it sounds good to me because I'm a Navy veteran, Vietnam veteran, and I do dog training, so anything that I can do to help a fellow veteran seems like a good idea, and it was a good idea. I was looking for pretty much anything as long as it wasn't labor intense because I had already hurt my body a couple of times, my knees, my back. I was having some neck pains and everything. I just had more medical issues, so I talked to a couple of my doctors and just decided to stay at home and retire and myself rest. I just felt like trying to find more military people to be around because I'm not from Houston. So I didn't really know anybody here. So I think I was just trying to figure more things out about Houston and see what these organizations can do for me. I saw somebody share a link to them and clicked into it and filled out the paperwork and I got to meet them. Hey, we want to thank you for your service. And on behalf of Pause for Heroes, we present you Pork Chop. Thank you. Yay. I took a, a couple pictures with him and everything and it was just too many people at first. But as soon as they left, first shot, he just jumped on the couch and was trying to cuddle and everything like that. And that's when we figured out that he likes reflection. And I think for me, it's good because I stay home a lot by myself. So it keeps me entertained and busy where I'm not thinking about other stuff. We've got it all set up so that trainers will go to the shelters and pull out dogs and temperament test them. There's a lot that goes into finding the right dog and then you have to match that dog with the veteran. You don't get to pick breeds because they are coming from shelters, but the uh, size you did get to pick, and I, I wanted a dog that was big enough to support me. I got him on Super Bowl Sunday, which was kind of cool, and when I did get him, it was nervous and excited because I was ready to try to get past some of the stuff that I've been dealing with. Me and him created this bond just is just unbreakable. Bear is one of the very few that worked as fast as he did. Usually it takes years. He has completed his service dog training. He takes care of me. He's always by my side and he doesn't judge me. I want all my brothers that deal with what I deal with every day to know that it's never going to go away but we can have something there that will help us. And a lot of people might not see it but it's a big difference for for all of us. Paws for Heroes, they understand veterans. They pick the dog for the person, not a person for the dog. He's my best friend, and the people associated with the program, they are the best people I've ever met. Empowering Arms is proudly presented by the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers 716. For more inspiring stories, go to khou.com slash empoweringarms.